Hey guys, how are you all doing today? And today we'll be watching Final Destination 2. Do we? Now, the first movie I've already seen. I've seen a couple times actually. The first time I saw it, it was like a couple of years ago. And I enjoyed it, but I don't feel the need to watch it. It wouldn't be a reaction if I watched that in this, you know. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be a actual reaction because I've already seen it. It had Sean William Scott in it. And the ending was like... You know, a typical horror ending with this the the dick in the movie dying at the end when he when he saves the main guy. I, I remember that happening. You know, it was an enjoyable horror movie. So I know they have like five more sequels in this franchise. Yes, five more fucking sequels, and it's an interesting concept. I like what they do about this. You know, you think you can escape death. <laughs> Because death has plans for you, you know? I, I like that concept. You have Tony Todd in the movie too. Obviously known as Candyman. And um, very synonymous with the horror genre. And um, yeah, I'm curious to see where they'd go in the second movie. And judging by the poster, it has the same chick from the mo first movie. So, I assume... I don't know what happened to the main guy. I, I, the main guy is not in this one, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, let's... We'll fucking do this, boys and girls. Three, two, one, go. New Line Cinema, the house that Freddy built. It normally has a, you know, that music it has, but it's dark music, ominous music. The survivors who managed Whose to get off the plane before it crashed died soon thereafter in a series of mysterious and bizarre accidents. Can you imagine that? You're hearing that in the news? A bunch of people survived this, you know, this accident. Somehow they could predict the future. And then you find out they all die in very suspicious ways, accidental ways, but they all die afterwards. That'll be fucked up. Hey guys, I'm getting horny. <laughs> Go on. Buckle up! Yeah, buckle up. You're in Final Destination movie. I'll never forget that scene in the first movie when that chick is just talking randomly and out of nowhere she gets hit by a vehicle. I'm like, what the fuck? I came out of nowhere. Oh my god. It's a chick from Drag Me to Hell. <laughs> Check the car because the. Kimberly, the car is gonna be fine. Dad's gonna be fine. You're gonna you just be fine. heard what her dad okay. said. There's something leaking out of the car. Chick, I know you're into whips and chains and, you know, but come on. Those logs that will come out of the truck. I just know it. I just see it coming. Look, that is designed to. Ah. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Nothing's worse than a hot coffee going all over you. What did I tell you? Okay, that guy had a tough day. Coffee all over him, and then a log right through his fucking face. Gina. Yeah. Dude's spinning to death. Oh my god, he's turned to Freddy Krueger. I didn't expect that. I didn't see that coming. Nice. That shocked me. The kid who got off the plane. What happened a year ago today? So it happens every year. My premonition was just like his. Itself was stalking them, hunting each one down. Okay, this guy's creepy. Until He's like Tony Todd's dead. son. <laughs> <laughs> Who's first to go? That's my question. He was going to hit the bucket. It's an interesting premise. So a guy wins a lottery and is going to die. Pretty much. So he isn't so lucky. So what has he brought? An iMac? What else has he brought? Eye. So is something going to happen to his eye? He says eye there. Dude, there's something in there. 
The H. Hey, listen, I, I heard about your lottery win. Let's hook up. Call me. That's what happens. You win the lottery and you get all these girls. <laughs> It's a mixture of him being stupid, and obviously deaf. Nice, good idea. What? Don't fall out and break your neck. You need Spider-Man to save you. Reminds me in the first movie of Spider-Man, like similar looking place. Godspeed, Spider-Man. Stay there. Dude, did you see how small I was on the refrigerator? It says I, and it goes through his eye. I'm a genius. I'm a fucking genius. Wow. So we dead. He dead dead. Looks like the hospital in Halloween Resurrection. One of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. To be honest, if you think about it, I would rather to rather be in Crystal Lake or Haddonfield or whatever than be in this situation. I'm gonna keep her locked up like right. this. It depends on her, I guess. She's voluntary. Oh yeah, she isn't she? She doesn't feel safe. I would hate to be in this situation because you can't escape it. You're fucked, pretty much, unless you're. You want to, unless you volunteer to go in a mental institution and like clear that has creepy or ominous and in your face irony kind of thing. Yes, you have the, the songs on the radio. Yeah, the guy in the beer truck, everything on the road. Well, don't ignore it. Recognize highway to hell. I, I just noticed the irony of that. I'm so stupid. You beat it. Take a look we around. Haven't. What did I beat, Kimberly? Has no wife. What does she even do in her spare time? She just sits there and looks at the fucking newspapers, articles, and shite. Do some word cross things. Your mom says you've been having some pain lately. Oh, God. Not really. This just this just confirms my fears of the dentist. I'm sorry. Oh, you have to show me what. All righty then. Another one bite to dust. Nice word movie. I thought he was gonna die due to the shit in the dentist. You did not confirm my fears, even though there was a horrible close-up shot of, of the dentist doing what dentist people do. Dead. Yet still fresh. <laughs> Look, we drove he has a long no way friends. to get here, so if you have only new life can defeat death. What the hell does that mean? Some people say there's a balance to everything. I'm thinking suck on my junk, biatch. Little punk. What the fuck? Who, is, who says that? Suck on my junk, biatch. What a degenerate. There's danger everywhere. Aww, look at these doggies. <laughs> about the lake so she can stay alive long enough to have the baby. That'll be an easy conversation to have. <laughs> thousands of white vans in the state. Hey. I'm a cop, remember? I'm a cop, remember? <laughs> I'm a cop. You should pick him up pretty quickly. Come on, let's get to the meeting. She looks like she's taking a gigantic shit that hurts. Meanwhile, taking that photo. Jesus, who looks like in the photo? <laughs> First death is stalking us and now premonitions. 
You still don't believe this, Four Eyes. Huh. Huh. If death is out to get you, why don't you just get the hell away from us? <laughs> She's the one that's dealt with this before. We need to Take your tail, Mac Jumper. Sleeping and your fucking glasses. We need to save proof this and die, buddy. <laughs> I think she wants to die after what happened to her kid. You okay? What do you mean if she's what do you mean is she okay? Four years ago my husband died. Now Tim, there's nothing left for me. Oh. Look, don't say that, okay? What you guys should do is put on I will survive in the background as you're trying to prevent all these hazards from happening. You get the mood going and you feel unity. There'll be a sense of unity between you guys. Now it's gonna go up. Oh, it's like an uh, outlast, but not really kind of similar. Oh, it nails. Oh. Do you believe now, you fucking idiot? No bullets. Wait. You don't keep it loaded. <laughs> what? Sick. This movie's on cocaine, and I want some badly. No, oh, I never made it. The, the the bus I was on splattered some girl all over the road. Was that in money, Abraham? Yes. How did you know? That bus you were on killed Terry Cheney. Yeah, the chick from the first movie. She was supposed to die on flight 180. Yeah, the one I was talking about earlier, how out of nowhere she said by a buzz. That was the night I scraped up Billy Hitchcock. Wait a minute, wait, 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 it all wait, connects. She tried to fight him off. She was a fighter, and they killed her. Dude. After the funeral, I, I kept thinking that it should have been me. I guess everyone must think that. So it all connects. I guess I was right. So this, this was no accident. This is this was meant to happen. I like that. How you know, if they didn't get off that plane, they would have been casualties a lot earlier. So this is all death trying to, you know, to put an end to everything. Watch it. <laughs> you trying to get yourself killed, little boy? Little boy. Gotta use your head, man. Get that news van back. Nice. <sighs> oh, shit. Who's gonna get it first out of these guys? My paraphernalia, my porno. <laughs> you know, anything that's gonna break my mom's heart. Oh. Please. Bless his little con socks. Could you be a little quieter with that thing, please? Yeah, sure. I'll just put it on quiet mode. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 dude. Oh. Jesus, these deaths are gnarly as fuck. Is it that? Is that? Is it gonna end this way? Can end happily? Thank you. Congratulations. 
questions. Who the hell is it? <laughs> a bit dead. Oh, shit. Shit on it. I had a feeling she wouldn't make it past the second movie. She was lucky enough to make it past the first movie. So she's gonna drive into the lake. Is that what she's gonna do? Too late, isn't it? Yeah, it's over. Game over, man. Game over. But what happens to him? Ready? Clear. He got her out. She's back. Is it gonna end in a happy ending? Cause that's right in a horror movie. Lakeview Hospital. <laughs> I love an asteroid just hits the hospital now. It'd be so funny if that happens. Things are pretty much getting back to normal. You spoke Brian, I too soon. He was <laughs> van that day in the field, and your friend Rory, he um, he pulled him back at the last second, saved his life. You never told me that, Peter. Boy, that was lucky. What does that mean then? Oh my god. <laughs> that's how it ends. Oh, that's fucking hysterical. And that was Final Destination 2. This was, wasn't was a bad movie. I It was really fast paced. It has some funny, gory, kind of good moments. Um, this is not a scary movie. I've always thought to myself, like, there's some movies where they label as horror movies. I don't see them as a horror. Like, they're not scary. This is just a gore fest with an interesting, you know, um, story about, you know, how you can't escape death and how these people land people at the Flight 180. Yeah, they escaped a close call, but death is not finished with them, obviously. And and th this new idea about new life can prevent death from happening. And you've turned out, it's not the baby, it's about... It's not about the baby, it's about how she trying to kill herself and she's ultimately, you know, brought back to life and um, um, defibrillated, uh, how the hell you pronounce it, and lost creating new life. And then the ending just goes completely bonkers by having that Rory guy. The Rory guy saved that kid from getting hit by that news van and then out of nowhere you just see him explode. <laughs> And go flying with his fucking, you know, his arm in front of his mom. <laughs> it was definitely like a B movie kind of moment that was. And um, these movies are a fun, fast paced horror movies, you know. And the first two, they've been fine, you know. They're not obviously going to be the greatest movies you've ever seen in your entire life. They're not going to be full of suspense and tension and thought provoking story. No, it's just a fun time. And, and um, they're not. They're, they have some meat to the bone too, and you have some characters from the first movie. So you have that um, um, clear girl who, she serves the role of, you know, being the advisor till the end maybe where she gets toasted. No pun intended, my friend. And um, I should have saw that coming, but I didn't at the same time. In the back of my head, I knew she's not going to make it to the third movie. She's, she survived the first movie. But not the second movie. I'm sorry. That's it, it, not how these movies work. And I am kind of not pissed off, but kind of underwhelmed by the fact that why do they kill off the guy from the first movie? Like, why off screen? And he gets, he gets killed by a brick? Like, come on. Like, they could have used him in this movie to, you know, to, to be in the role of Clear, you know, to serve the same purpose. And I feel like... It would have been better if we brought him back from the first movie because he was a lot, you know, he was a decent protagonist. And it's, it's a shame that he was killed off screen, like Sarah Connor style in Terminator 3. And um, yeah, it's just a decent 
you know, sequel. And I prefer the first movie, personally. But I didn't mind this one either. And I assume the sequels get progressively worse as they go on. But we see what happens. The third movie's next. And it has a po- The posters... I've always seen the poster, like, around all the time. But, like, they're on a roller coaster. I am terrified of roller coasters. So... I'm going to have a picnic at that one when I watch that one in the next um, Final Destination reaction video. So, yeah, we see what happens there. And, um, yeah, it's great to see Tony Todd in this movie as well. You know, he's not really known for these movies. He's known more for Candyman, obviously, and other movies too. But, you know, it's it's, it's fun to see him back too. And, obviously, he's very creepy and ominous in this one, like he is in the first movie. And um, in terms of Claire, like, you can tell she is... um, She's more feisty in this one, like, because obviously she knows the situation more. In, in the first movie, she, she wasn't really aware, but in this one, she is. She knows that if she steps for outside of that mental institution that she volunteered to be in, she is fucked. And she was. So she, you know, she got killed, obviously, trying to help these people. And um, it ends once again with we don't know what happens to the main two characters, the police officer and um was her name kimberly and kimberly we don't know what happens to those two i would they be in the third movie i guess i don't know we'll see what we'll see what happens maybe they'll be the advisors for the third movie i don't know but we we'll see what happens but it's hinted that it's going to continue on again because i think that was explained to me in the comments if i don't understand but because Rory, Rory intervened and how you know brought that kid into the into the design maybe, into the design of the death um, pattern. Now that kid's dead. Are those two next? I don't know. You know, I don't know. But I haven't seen the first movie in a long time, so I should have gave that a rewatch before I gave this a shot. But still, they gave exposition about the first movie throughout this movie, so I don't think I was missing much. And I do like the twist, or not really a twist, but like a revelation that, hey, this is all connected to the first movie. If Alex didn't warn everyone to get off that plane, and if they all died, then the people in this movie would have died a lot sooner if I understood, if I understood that, that revelation correctly. And so it ties into the first one very well. And obviously, having the character of Clear there too, it, makes, it all makes sense. And we get to know that these guys nearly died for example, the police officer nearly died. You know, if he didn't get that case, he would have got killed too. Um, Kimberly's mom got killed by these these fogs, and and if she was there, she would have died too. And um, and they were all connected to the previous um, deaths from the first movie. For example, Kimberly was busy watching the news about the guy dying in the shower, so it all connects and. Like I said, the reason why I love the Saw movies when I was watching them is there's a clear, close connection continuity because some of these horror franchises, when one is shit and it doesn't do very well, they often forget about that one even existed. For example, the Halloween movies, they have several different timelines. And hopefully with this franchise, as I get to watch them all soon, they'll pay homage to the previous movie, have more connect. So I assume the third movie will come out, will take place a year later from this one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. There's, is that a rule? It happens every year, a year, a, 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 the exact day to this, to that day for the following year. The same thing happens to a different group of people in a different setting. We'll see what happens. But that was my reaction to Final Destination 2. And it wasn't a bad sequel. And it was, you know... This and the Saw movies were the ones that were carrying the genre during, during the 2000s because the 2000s were, well, the Sasha genre was pretty much dead. Um, you had remakes upon remakes and then you had these. These were the only original big hit horror films that were out. So, yeah, I have to give it credit where it's due. Some good moments, some good gory, gnarly moments. And it doesn't stand out, but it's not bad at the same time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time.